Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss the International Space Station, which has been leaking for five years, and NASA's designation of it as a highest-level risk. Scientists at NASA have been battling a highest-level risk at the International Space Station, which has been leaking for five years with no solution to the problem found yet. In a new report, NASA's space officials, who have been given the responsibility of managing the International Space Station, have expressed their concern regarding a small Russian part of the station, which is a tunnel connecting a larger module to a docking port and is leaking. The US and Russian officials have been aware of the condition of this small PRK module, which is present between the Progress spacecraft airlock and the Zvezda module and has been facing a leakage since September 2019. In the new report, which was published by NASA's Inspector General, new details were provided regarding the severity of the problem in the space agency. In February, NASA had observed that the leak rate had increased from less than one pound of atmosphere a day to 2.4 pounds a day. And in April, the rate reached 3.7 pounds a day. The cause of the leak has not been identified by either Russian or U.S. officials, even after years of investigation. Although the root cause of the leak remains unknown, both agencies have narrowed their focus to internal and external welds, stated the report, which was signed by Deputy Inspector General George A. Scott. Here's how NASA officials plan to handle the leakage NASA officials have planned to mitigate the risk by keeping the hatch, which is present on the Zvezda module, closed. However, if the leakage worsens, they may consider permanently closing the hatch. However, Ars Technica reported in June that leakage has reached the highest level of concern. In May and June 2024, ISS Program and Roscosmos officials met to discuss heightened concerns with the increased leak rate, stated the report of the Inspector General. The ISS program subsequently elevated the service module transfer tunnel leak risk to the highest level of risk in its risk management system. According to NASA, Roscosmos is confident they will be able to monitor and close the hatch to the service module prior to the leak rate reaching an untenable level. However, NASA and Roscosmos have not reached an agreement on the point at which the leak rate is untenable, it added. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.